but certainly uh, the, 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 the guiding hand was there. Now you've got Adolf, Paul Adolf Volker sitting in the White House and Brzezinski uh, really running a lot of the policy through somebody like Robert Gates, who was his office boy back 30 years ago, who now runs the Pentagon. So I think you're, you're dealing with that. Now, uh, I think the good news, though, is that this has now uh, stalled. This, this entire Obama hysteria seems to be disintegrating at a fairly rapid rate, and he is, is now down to 49% right, in but, some of these polls. But a cornered dragon is dangerous with all of his host of hell supporting him, all these powerful interests that are articulating this, this, this puppet. What are their tricks? Their stage crises, synthetic terror... You told us what was coming a year and a half ago. Now tell us what's coming in the next year and a half. Webster Griffin Tarpley, stay with us. All right, Webster Tarpley, we were talking during the break. Obviously, he's their manufactured uh, Messiah type that Brzezinski, in between two ages, wrote about in the 70s. These kind of pop icon presidents they wanted to create. Kind of little Hitlers that are complete puppets, not their own men, as uh, Alos uh, Hitler was. Now that he's stalling, and much of his agenda, except for the hate crimes bill, they got that. That was the one thing they wanted to restrict free speech. Now that they're starting to stall, this is a cornered juggernaut going for broke. What do you see happening in your uh, political crystal ball? Well, uh, the first thing is that Obama is now losing some of his core support, right? He got 52% in the election, allegedly. If he's down to 49, it means that he's lost 3% of his, of his actual voters, which, which is, I think, very, very ominous for him. Let's just think of where we are. Uh, we're in the first term of Obama, and it's uh, getting to be August. Uh, where were we uh, about this point in the previous president's first term, say Bush? He was back on in, vacation, getting ready to stage a false flag. Back, uh, well, having you know, the the rogue network was getting ready to uh, to deliver the false flag and hope that he uh, that he did what they what they wanted, which he was going to do. But we're now basically at the point where this nine eleven stuff then comes comes back into play. The the danger of false flag, I would say, is now rapidly increasing. It has to do with the calculation on the part of these controllers, right? These trilateral characters, do they wish to try to maintain this investment? I mean, if you, if you look back at Bush, he was already cratering at the point we're at now, and then he was given a huge rally round effect by 9-11. And, and second, according to Gallup and others, Obama is cratered faster than Bush, faster than Carter, so this is a Carter. record, record cratering, and right. so that brings false flag in. It does, and the the uh, the the, the uh, model I think is this character Andrew Sullivan writing in the the Atlantic Monthly in December of '07 complained that the use of false flag was momentarily impossible for the Anglo-American ruling class because under under the circumstances of Bush Cheney nobody would believe them. In other words, if a bomb went off and Bush Cheney came out and said Country X did it. Many people would say, you're lying. Many people would say, you're responsible, you're incompetent, or even, you did it yourself as a wag the dog. So that was the problem that, that Sullivan saw with the, the, the latter years of, of Bush Cheney. Now, in the opinion of the ruling elite, I don't think in reality, because I think they're, they're, they're too optimistic, they would say that Obama could blame another country for something happening, and the world would believe it. Now, the list has changed. This is not going to be Iran anymore. You will have seen that the CIA faction in Iran is in the streets yelling death to Russia, death to China, meaning Brzezinski's program. So there's no point in attacking Iran when you have a chance of taking over the government with Mousavi Rafsanjani and then using Iran against Russia, China, which is, which is what the plan is. But I would say... But if that doesn't go well in the next few months, they still may. I mean, we're getting all these green possible, lights. But right now, that's, that's still an open question. The, the one thing we do know is that there's bombing of Pakistan every day, which is two and a half times bigger with nuclear weapons. So I think actually much worse as a policy. But I think the hit list is now Pakistan, uh, Sudan, and then depending on how crazy they are, maybe they go straight to China or straight to Russia. And this would, of course, be act of incalculable folly, but... That we're dealing with a but we already saw the Brzezinski. But we already saw the Brzezinski Geithner crew already manipulating the Bushes, as you said, with the eight 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 probe. 
Uh, well, yes, uh, and and but the the question now is the 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 hit list has changed, and and these other countries are now at at the top of the list. So I would say now it's time to redouble vigilance. In particular, these the question of the drills and the exercises. What I tried to show in nine eleven synthetic terror was that this is done through about twenty five plus drills either happening on the morning of 9-11 or just completed or in the advanced stages of, of, of completion. And uh, that is how it is done. I mean, people who have seen this, this, uh, the latest Tom Cruise movie, when von Stauffenberg wanted to eliminate Hitler and have a coup d'etat, how did he do it? He took a pre-existing drill operation or program, which was called Operation Valkyrie, which was it, it, supposedly how to, how to reassert Hitler's control over the... German territory and other areas, and he redirected it and uh, and tried to use that as a means of kicking out the pro Hitler faction. Now that didn't yeah, work, let's but explain. Shows, this is how you do it: how they bootleg with drills, and we have NLE09 going and other Defense Department drills openly training for martial law. I mean, on record with 14 foreign nations saying the foreign nations will aid suppressing American terrorists. Just unbelievable outrage against our sovereignty.